very pleased to be involved in the first Hong Kong International Guitar Festival, an exciting new initiative being organised by local guitarist and, and performer Samuel Mock. Over three days you'll get the chance to hear six concerts, some four master classes and, and some lectures relating to various topics of the guitar. Uh, I'm particularly pleased to be presenting a lecture on the 19th century guitar, an area of particular interest to me. Uh, my lecture will focus very much on the changing styles during the period and how these were reflected in the instruments themselves. In modern times they're very used to guitars that primarily have the same characteristics irrespective of the country of origin. Uh, a lot of them coming from a very strong Spanish tradition. One might argue of course the guitars by Greg Smallman from Australia started a very new approach to, to guitar making which I think is, 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 is very true. But during the 19th century the range of guitars was incredibly diverse. A guitar from Vienna was very, very different from a guitar from Naples or a guitar from London. And everyone reflected the musical style of the period. The light, airy, almost sort of shimmering sound of the Viennese guitar suited the music that was being written in that country, where you take the very dark, coloured uh, Guadagni guitars from the north of Italy, from Turin. They're ideally suited to the expressiveness of the bel canto, uh, with its sort of florid melodies and its simple accompaniments. So I'll be exploring the instruments and how they linked to some of the many performance practices, particularly that of the bel canto, that uh, was a dominant form of practice in Italy for the first decades of the 19th century, where opera uh, was the reason for living. Instrumental music, not as popular. Paglini, when he went to Naples in the 1820s, found uh, a most unreceptive environment for his violin playing. The population wanted opera. And we'll hear in the concert by the marriage uh, Ferraro guitar duo some music by Giuliani that captures beautifully uh, the expressive nature of the bel canto. So I hope you can join me on September the 21st at 7, uh, 7 o'clock as part of the Hong Kong International Guitar Festival for my lecture on 19th century guitar, uh, uh, just preceding the Marit Ferraro uh, duo concert, where you'll be able to hear a lot of those styles, those works performed on two copies by Jan Tulicek of uh, early 19th century Viennese guitars, uh, and these ones in this case with eight strings, which again was very common in the early 19th century, strings with multiple uh, guitars with multiple strings.